Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate LEGO Game tier list and the reason I say Ultimate is not because this is like the superior opinion, uh, I mean actually it is, this is my opinion, I'm completely correct, but um, the main reason that it, I say Ultimate is because not only does this include the flagship, the flagship versions of each games, uh, or of each of these games released for the current home consoles, uh, but it also includes the handheld version, which me personally, I played the handheld versions as much or maybe even more than the flagship versions so because of that i really like that um like they included the handheld versions because some of these games you know when i think about those games i end up thinking about the portable version the portable version comes to mind first because i you know might have played it more or i just have more fun memories and nostalgia over um so yeah just a couple things first off of course this is my opinion it is the right opinion but of course, um, if this isn't your opinion, you can leave a comment. Tell me, you know, what you do or where you place things differently, anything like that. That's cool. Just remember, this is my opinion. Uh, this isn't the definitive opinion. I know I said that earlier, but I was just joking about that. Um, but yeah, let's begin. And I know a lot of people are going to burn me at the stake. But first, we have Lego Batman, the video game. And I'm not sure about this one because... I've dabbled in the flagship version. I know I rented it years ago on Wii, and I played through um, the first few levels. And I got it um, on Epic Games whenever they had the whole trilogy free years ago. Um, so I've dabbled in it on that too. But I don't think I've played this one enough to truly judge it, so I'm going to put it in the never played um, if I was to place it somewhere, I'd probably put it in B, but the thing is, um, it's been years since I played it, so I don't really want to, you know, say, oh, this is a bad game, or an okay game, even though I really haven't given it a fair chance. Now, Lego Batman the Video Game on the DS, I have actually been playing recently, uh, for the, um, uh, portable, or the Lego Batman on DS, uh, Nike's and Stuff episode, and so, um, the DS version... Uh, I'd probably put in B or C. Uh, I'd say high C? I, uh, let's go with high C. Um, you know, it's pretty good for a portable version, but, I mean, at, by the end, I just kind of gave up. Uh, at the end, I just kind of stopped caring. Um, yeah, Lego Indiana Jones 2, I have not played. I heard it's not that great. The DS version, I have played. Uh, it's okay. I'd probably put it C above, eh, no, I'd say below uh, Lego Batman, simply because I don't have as much nostalgia for it. Uh, the flagship Lego Harry Potter, I played through a decent amount of this one, eh, it was pretty good. I'd say high B. DS version, uh, I remember this one not being that good, I'm going to put it down in D. Lego Star Wars 3, I have not played. Um, so, have never played the handheld version. I've not played the 3DS version, but I have played the DS version. And I quite like it. Um, I think it's okay. I'd probably put it, I'd say, in between Lego Batman and Indiana Jones. Um, it does have a decent amount of nostalgia, but not as strong as um, Lego Batman on DS. Pirates of the Caribbean. And haven't played the flagship version. The portable version, um, played a couple years ago. It was okay. I'd probably say, uh, below Lego Star Wars 3. Lego Star Wars the video game, A tier, masterpiece. Um, not as good as Complete Saga, because it's missing the sequel trilogy, or not the sequel, uh, the original trilogy. But besides that, <laughs> great game. That's the one that started that, the one that started it all. Uh, then we have Harry Potter, years 5 through 7. Haven't played the flagship version. Uh, the handheld version. It's been a couple years. I think it was okay. I probably put it between Pirates and Indiana Jones. I know it seems like I've only played the portable version, but trust me, as we get to some of the later ones, uh, you'll see that I've, I, I've mainly played the ones from the Xbox 360 era. Um... Next we have Lego Batman 2. This is a good one. I, I really like this one. I played this one a lot. Um, I want to put it in S tier? I don't know. I really like it. Let's see. I'm, it's very nostalgic. I 
I feel like the levels were pretty good. Uh, it was fun to run around the world. I'm gonna put that one in S tier. I think it's really good. Uh, the handheld version, I'd probably put in high B. Uh, I got a lot of nostalgia for it. It was one of the first DS games I got. Um, I played it to death, and I just have a lot of fond memories with it. Uh, it was a very fun game. Uh, let's see. Flagship logo Lord of the Rings. I haven't played too much, but from what I remember, probably high B. Um, I ran around the open world with my sister a lot. That was a lot of fun years ago. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It was pretty fun. Um, the handheld version, once again, the DS version is the one that I played. Um, I'd probably put it below first Harry Potter. I remember it, like, kind of has an open world, like, you can run around Middle Earth, like, there's a lot of Middle Earth that you can run around in, which kind of just blew me away, I mean, I was kind of used to, um, the handheld LEGO games just having, like, a small hub world, but no, this one had, you know, it wasn't huge by any means, but it was a lot bigger than some of the other ones. <sighs> I have not played any of the LEGO City games. Neither have I played the Chima game. Like Marvel Super Heroes S tier above LEGO Batman 2. Uh, played this one a ton. I th yeah, I think it was the first game I ever 100%ed. Um, it was a ton of fun. And it's just, it's just, a, just a great game. A, a great character roster, a lot of characters to play as. Um, levels were fun, did a good job like exploring the Marvel Universe and stuff like that. Pretty good. Uh, LEGO Star Wars the video game on the Game Boy Advance. Say high D, um, better than Harry Potter on DS, but not not good. Uh, it, it's a very it's a slog of a game. Um, it's very slow and yeah, it's just it's not that great. Uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the portable version. It, it goes bottom of D. Uh, I, I have a weird sense of nostalgia for it um, because of how much I did play it, but it's it's not a good game. I don't like it because it's a good game. I like it because of the nostalgia. Um, but it's not a good game. Uh, Lego Movie the Video Game. Eh, I'd probably say High C. I don't remember it being anything fantastic. Nothing that memorable. Um, yeah. The handheld version. Uh, I have the game. Yeah, I have the handheld version, but like the mobile version. So. That's close enough. Um, yeah, again, I wasn't really blown away by it. I, it was probably a little better than Harry Potter. 5 or 7 handheld version. Haven't played either version of The Hobbit. Have not played Ninjoids yet. That that That's killing me. Uh, I've, wanted to, I've wanted that one for years. Um, have not played it yet. Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. I, I quite enjoyed this one. Um, again, there, there's a decent amount of nostalgia for it. Uh, I'll put it in B. I just remember it being pretty fun. I especially, I know a lot of people don't like the open worlds, all the planets and stuff like that, but I don't know, that was probably my favorite part of the game. Um, you know, exploring the planets, getting all the collectibles and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I, I really enjoyed uh, exploring space. Lego Batman Portable Version, I have not played yet. Uh, once I, I'm replaying Lego Batman 2 on the DS, and once I finish that, then I'm going to play um, Lego Batman 3 on the 3DS for the first time. But I have not played it yet, so I cannot um, I cannot place it on the list yet. Uh, then we have Shadow of Ronin. Um, I'm going to put it above Lego Batman 2. Uh, I think that is the definitive Ninjago video game experience. Um, I think my only issue with it is the is really just the limitations of the 3DS and how much that limits, um, you know, what could be done with the game, but even, even then, you know, you could explore some iconic Ninjago locations, the story's pretty good, uh, it's not canon, but uh, the story's very fun, I love, this, this is the introduction of Ronin, and I also just, it's another one that I just have a ton of um, nostalgia over, even though I didn't actually start playing the game until years ago, um, it, it's still, like, whew, it is, uh, a very nostalgic game, just, 
watching gameplay over the years that still makes it a very nostalgic experience. And then actually playing it, it's a pretty good game. I'd say it's the current definitive Ninjago video game experience. Then we have LEGO Jurassic World. That's one that I also used to play a lot. Um, I'd say A tier above LEGO Star Wars. Uh, that was pretty fun. You know, looking back, um, the character roster was not that great. Uh, I mainly made custom characters and imagined my own scenarios, but that was a lot of fun. Um, the dinosaur creator, that was a lot of fun too. And I thought it was pretty cool how they would, like, take the locations from each of the movies and condense it into its kind of own small open world. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, this is a pretty fun one. A lot of nostalgia for it. Um, Lego Star Wars 2, oh, 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 oh. Uh, somewhere in S tier. Love, I'd say above Shadow Run. Um, actually above Lego Marvel Super Heroes. That is just straight up one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's just, it's so, it's so good. I mean, it's, you know, the original trilogy, um, three of the greatest films of all time. You, you can play through them in Lego with all the Lego humor and stuff like that. Um, whew, it is, it's really good. Uh, then we have the portable LEGO Jurassic World. I played the mobile version that's pretty much the same as the 3DS version. Uh, thing is, I don't really remember it. I mean, it was... It's probably okay, but it's just not that memorable. I'll put it below LEGO Nana Jones, too. Um, LEGO Dimensions. S tier, uh, above LEGO Marble. Um, hmm... Sure, actually, it's, pro it's probably gonna go there. Um, Lego Dimensions may be my all-time favorite Lego game for uh, the concept. I personally liked the execution. I have a lot of nostalgia for the game, and it's just a very special game to me. I have a lot of, you know, fond memories of it over the years. I'm very sad that it's you know, died, but I had a great experience, and I, I, I just really like it, you know, I, I feel like, and especially, I feel like it was, it, it was my favorite, I feel like it was the best Toys to Life game, because, like, unlike, say, like, the Skylanders or Disney Infinity, you know, Lego Dimensions, they let you take those things off the stand, so you could truly, you know, play with it as if, I mean, if, if you just wanted, like, a Batman figure for whatever reason. You can just take it off the stand and you have a Batman figure. Um, but you could also play as him in game and just like, I just really enjoyed the concept of having, you know, being able to play as like Bat, play, being able to play as Batman in the world of Ninjago. That was so cool. And that's, again, like there, there's a whole Ninjago world. You can play as all the ninja along with Wu. And it's just like, it's so cool. Um, I, I really love Lego Dimensions. It's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, which, <laughs> it, 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 it's a very, I don't know, a, a lot of people, I don't know, it, it just seems to have like a bit of a rough reception. Or, yeah, like, pe people talk about it as it feels rough and not very good. Um, but I'm very nostalgic over it. I really love Lego Dimensions. And so it's, it's probably my favorite Lego game. Um... Yeah, and then we have Lego Avengers. Eh, that was pretty good. Um, I especially liked the open world. It felt like a more polished version of the Lego Marvel Super Heroes open world. Plus, there are a bunch of other locations alongside Manhattan that you could explore. The levels were okay. Character roster is quite good. Um, I'd probably put it above Jurassic World. That was a pretty good one. Uh, the... 3DS version. I actually have played this one. I played it. I played through it. Summer 2021, and I beat it. I 100%ed it in like two days, and it was pretty fun. It was actually pretty fun. Uh, I probably put it above Harry Potter Years One to Four. That was pretty good. Uh, Lego Star Wars: Force Awakens. Uh, I'd probably put it 
C tier. Um, it's Star Wars. That's really fun. Um, it was fine in multiple ways. I, I liked the classic characters that you can unlock. The open world concept was pretty good in the idea that it's just a bunch of s smaller open worlds. It, it, it truly, there's a lot of concepts in it that paved the way for what would come in the Skywalker Saga. Um, but the campaign is, the, the campaign is way too long and the open worlds are empty and th there just really wasn't much that kept me one that once I beat the game, um, there really wasn't anything that held me through and made me want to keep on playing. So it was okay, but, um, the portable version, I played the mobile, ver I played the mobile version to death. Um, I quite actually enjoyed the mobile version. I'd probably put it, this is a little weird, but it, it, it's really mainly nostalgia, but A tier, um, especially during the, um, time coming up to The Last Jedi, I played it constantly. I would imagine all my, uh, Star Wars fantasies and play through it and that, um, the character customization, I don't think, I don't think the character customization was in the 3DS version. Um, I have the 3DS version, but I haven't really played it that much. Um, but the mobile version, there was a character customizer, and whew, my gosh, I, I I just got a lot. Of, even in the just open worlds, even though there weren't that many, um, I played through it so many times. It was really nostalgic. Um, it's a ton of fun. I, I really like the handheld version. I feel like I, I liked it more than the console version. It, it's mainly a nostalgic thing. Like, you know, technically the console version is better, but um, I have a lot more fond memories of the handheld version. I played that one a lot. The console version, uh, I played it over. I played it over the course of a week, and was like, okay, that's enough. Um, all right, the Ninjago movie game. I played this one a little bit. It's okay. Never really kept me. Um, I wanted to come back for more. I'd probably put it. Uh, I'd say above Harry Potter Years 1 to 4, below Avengers on 3DS. Like Marvel Super Heroes 2, I finally got to play through it earlier this year. I wanted to ever since it came out in 2017, but I never got around to it until earlier this year, and I, I quite enjoyed it. I probably put high A. Um, levels were pretty fun. I liked the open world. It was uh, cool. It, it was more interesting than having a third Manhattan. Uh, we got a more we got a bigger variety of locations and more interesting locations like Asgard was um, going through Ragnarok, you know, it's Apocalypse. Um, it, it was different. It's just like the unique things like that made it more interesting. Um, the character roster is great. Uh, and the DLC also, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of DLC characters. Uh, I'm still working my way through the DLC levels. It's, it's been a long time since I played it. But um, I'll 100% it one day. Uh, I, it's not a current obsession, but um, I, I, I had a decent amount of fun with it. It was pretty fun, and so yeah, it, I, I think it's pretty decent. Um, next we have Lego Incredibles. Haven't played. Don't really care about playing it ever. Lego DC Super Villains. I want to play that one a decent bit. Um, I like the idea. My only understanding I really have of it is that. Um, you make a custom character and then you can actually play as that character in some of the story levels, which I think is actually really cool. Um, character customizers character customizers are always my favorite part of LEGO games because I, I, I really like creating and imagine, like coming up with my own stories and stuff like that. And so I love that the LEGO character customizers um, allow you to make your own character. And oh, another thing about LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, the character customizer is so like robust and just there's so much to it like it's so much more advanced than like the fire ones and it's just so crazy how it's just like it gives you so much more like custom like customization options and so it's really good i, I really like that one when i'm back to lego dc super villains um yeah i love making my own characters and imagining my own story for them and you can't like necessarily imagine your own story they're kind of in the confines of the game story but still being able to create your character and play a similar story mode. That's pretty cool. Uh, I want to get to that one one day. 
Uh, then we have Lego Star Wars 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I like this one a decent bit. Um, I'd probably put it uh, above the Ninjago movie game. It's nothing mind-blowing. You know, it's not one of the greatest games of all time. But I feel like for a for Lego Star Wars on the Game Boy Advance, uh, it's a big step up from the first one. And, you know, it, it's, it's decent. You know, it's... It's okay. It's not, again, it's not amazing, but it's, it's okay. Lego Movie 2 video game I have not played. I have heard that it is the worst Lego game, so real big honor right there. Uh, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I'd probably put this one S tier. Um, I'd say above Lego Star Wars 2. No, I'd say below. It's, it's, it's good. I really like it. Uh, it has the downfalls of, um... DLC could be a lot better and needs a character customizer desperately, which it's not ever going to get because at this point, you know, TT Games has probably moved on to the next LEGO game and so they're just pumping out the these last few, um, they're pumping out the last few character packs and then they're just going to um, let the game die out, which is pretty sad. Uh, I feel like Skywalker Saga is so much right. It changes up Lego game format in a fun way. Uh, there's a lot of like the the open worlds. I, I really like. I like how that was handled. Um, there's so much that I like, but it's just the biggest flaw is that there's no character customizer, and that's the big thing that once these last few character packs come out, um, and I I have had fun running around as them for 10 minutes. The lack of a character customizer is what's going to keep me away from this game for a long time. So, uh, besides that though, I mean, I really like it. I feel like it was a great next step for LEGO games. Great evolution, um, that kind of stuff. So, that's right. Next we have LEGO, <laughs> LEGO Star Wars 2 on the DS. Um, hmm. <laughs> Goes below LEGO Star Wars on Game Boy Advance. I'd say above. I thought it was 5 7 um, it's a pretty impressive attempt to put LEGO Star Wars 2 on the DS. There are a lot of things about it that I'm like, wow, this is on the DS, that's pretty cool. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that it, there are a ton of flaws. There are a ton of glitches and other things that are just so, like, weird about the game. It was a good attempt. You know, A for effort, um, F for results. That's why it's in the D tier. Um, not good. <laughs> not good at all. Um, it's, it's, it's a broken mess, but there is a decent amount of nostalgia to it. Um, but yeah. Uh, League Star Wars Complete Saga, S tier, S tier. Uh, above League Star Wars. The handheld version, S tier, S tier. Boom. Love the Complete Saga so much. The S version, pretty good too. Uh, I grew up on that one. And the complete, the home console version is also quite magnificent. Um, I love that one a lot too. Then we have... The Lego Indiana Jones, haven't played the flagship version, but I have played the handheld version, and uh, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I'd probably put it, uh, I'd probably put it right here in between Lego Batman 2 and Avengers. And there we go, that is my Lego games tier list. S tier, got Lego Dimension, I don't know, I don't really need to go through that. But, um, yeah, that's my opinion on these games. Um, I feel like it's been a pretty good run. You know, LEGO games are pretty good. Um, they're good, you know. They're, they're a combination of a bunch of genres. You know, puzzles, co-ops, um, beat-em-ups, uh, open world, and all that stuff. Uh, this customization. Um, and, you know, they're very nostalgic. I've played through them uh, a lot. And, you know, even as bad as some of them can be, like Lego Marvel Super Heroes on DS, um, you know, I'll still always like them for the memories that I've made with them and just for, you know, everything they've done, including Suck.